Hello and welcome to an episode of Digi Openings. And today we have the Digimon Card Game Gift Box. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, really. You can you can pretty much see exactly what's in there. But uh, I'm going to crack it open and take a look. So we'll take a quick look at the box uh, first. So we've got the digital writing. Um, do they, they have actually named the writing style of the digital world? I know there was like a translation guide, wasn't there? They released a while ago. But yeah, we'll take a look at the back uh, to describe exactly what's in here. It says gift box. There's not a ton going on, to be honest. It is kind of... I kind of like the simplicity. It's just straight to the point. It's not like the Ultra War Greymon Premium Collection Plus or anything. It's like, nah, it's just a gift box. So, on the back, uh, part of the reason I bought this, really, is you get four packs of EX01, which is the classic collection, uh, which is the, like the newest set out, I think. Um, you get the Wargreymon promo card, as we'll take a look at in a second. And these were really cool as well. This is the other thing that really convinced me, which is the memory counter case and memory counters, along with some like um, premium uh, memory gauges as well. So it's pretty cool, honestly. Um, this for the price as well. The, this is quite a quite a decent amount of stuff, really. So I'm gonna crack this open now, and we'll take a look what's inside. All right, and here we are. I've pulled everything out. So I'll lift the plastic cover here and we'll take a look at everything. So the first thing, of course, we will take a look at is the War Greymon promo. So this, I'm pretty sure, actually, give me a second. There we are. So the alternate art card for the promotion is the same promo card included in each box of the classic collection. So basically, I think what that means is the booster boxes for the classic collection set also contain this as a box topper. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, because I was thinking of getting a booster box of this. I might still do that, but uh, but yeah, here we are. This is an alt-art version of War Greymon from um, BT3 there. Cool, very nice. So yeah, I really like the um, the background, because it's it's kind of layered, you know, the, the background has got its own texture kind of thing going on. And I mean, I love War Greymon, so I'm, uh, I'm more than happy to have a card of him again. Um, I did pull the alt art uh, in the uh, 1.0 release as well, I do believe, which is very, very nice. Um, yeah, right, so we have four packs of the classic collection, which we'll take a look at more in depth uh, when, it's, when it's time. That'll be next, basically. Uh, right, let's take that off. A lot of plastic here. Uh, right, next up are the premium memory gauges. I say premium because, like, oh, I don't even know what material this is. I think it's plastic, but basically these are just really big versions of the things you get in the packs. Oh, and they're slightly holographic as well. That's really nice. Okay, so on this one we, of course, have, uh, we have Agumon there. And we have Greymon, because he's digivolving. Uh, very nice. And we've got the Digimon... Ooh. Oh, that's hollow as well. That's cool. With the Digimon card game logo. And, of course, we also have... This is a bit confusing. Um, no, actually, wait. No, yeah, it is confusing, because... Zero... Starts the... Uh, yeah. No, never mind. Okay, yeah, no, it... Ah, I, I get... Wait, no. I don't get what it's doing, actually, because... Um, that, the Digivolution starts from right to left, it's, you know, Agumon into Greymon. But this is War Greymon and Metal Greymon, but it's clearly the other way around. It, that's very confusing. But again, this is hollow and stuff as well. Very nice, same kind of, ooh. Uh, oh, oh, that's like condensation, I guess. I, I thought there was like a weird thing on the back there. There we go, cool. Well, I'll set those up in the background in a second. I'll make this all look nicer uh, once we've finished this. Ooh, and this comes in its own package. Okay, let's chuck that there for a second. Uh, yeah, so this this really intrigued me. Obviously, this looks like a digivice. Uh, that is the point. How do you open this thing? Uh, ah, right, okay. I know how this works now. So, obviously, this looks like a digivice. So, that's the top there. A little bit of writing, I think. It's not coming out very well on camera, but there's, like, things on the edge here. And inside... Ah! Okay, I see. Is this, like, plastic thing? Uh, that... 
Oh! Oh! That's an interesting move by them. So, I was under the impression, because if you look at the back here, uh, that there's four... Right, I misread that fully. One of four types. I might have to buy another one of these, good lord. Um, I like Gomamon. I mean, I like all of them, to be honest. Tentamon's the kind of one I want, though, so... Uh... I might have to look that up, but of course we have Gomamon here, uh, very cute in his like... Basically this is what the um, virtual pet would look like. I wonder if you don't put the plastic thing in, does it still... Yeah, that looks terrible. Okay, so you, you, you do have to use this plastic riser uh, if you want to display it like that, I guess. Cool, so let's put it back like that. Okay, I'm mildly disappointed, but it's fully my fault because I didn't read the back. But there we go, there's Gomamon in his Digivice, chilling out and being happy. Um, right, I'm going to go arrange everything nicely then, and we'll crack into these booster packs of the RB. Alright, we are back. So I've arranged them all in the order there, so we're going to take a quick look at the pack and then we'll bust into it. So obviously, this is very nostalgic. The art style is very old Digimon. Uh, pretty sure that's taken from the, 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 the old Digimon card game, uh, Greymon, I think, but I could be wrong. So it's classic collection, there are 73 cards, we'll take a look at that in a second. This is EX01, which leads me to believe they're probably going to do other classic collections, like Tamers and stuff like that, that would be very cool. So 73 types, uh, that's the statistical breakdown, it says there that, uh, some of these cards have alt, like alt art as well. I think specifically the super rares and the secret rare, I want to say. So, um, yeah, let's just bust into it, shall we? So, I can open it the tidy way for one of these, because I, I want to keep the pack art. It is very nice art. And uh, just dive straight in. So, ooh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the uh, memory gauge looks like for this set. Uh, okay, good. Oh, fudge! There is no memory gauge. Okay, pretend you didn't see anything. I will also pretend I didn't see anything. So, we have Megadramon. Very nice. So, all this art, obviously, is going to look like the older styles, as we can see here with Togemon. Uh, unfortunately, I never really played the old Digimon card game, or, or you know, even bought many packs of them. Um, because they weren't very easily available, and these days they're very expensive and hard to find. We have Ikakumon. Hang on, I'm going to adjust the camera for a second. There we are, no, uh, no shadow, so very nice. We have Ikakumon. Hey, Elekmon! Let's go, I love Elekmon. Very cool design. Uh, Betamon would be very nice as well. We have Wegururumon, looking pretty cool there. Ooh, Tentamon, let's go. Man, the art is so clean as well. It's just, you know, it, it's straight to the point. I know it's kind of like default art, so maybe some people won't like this set. But for me, this is kind of what I really like. I mean, sometimes the art is so busy, it's actually hard to see the Digimon. So, I don't know. I, I like this as a, as a change. Uh, we have Gardramon. Very nice. Oh yeah, boys! We have Lilymon. So, this is the first card I saw from the Classic Collection, I think. The Digimon TCG, like, social media put this up with Togemon, and I was like, I'm sold. The, I, I love the old, uh, just like old anime design from like the early 2000s is fantastic. Metal Etamon there. Very nice. Oh, yo, okay, that, that pose there is like, good lord, that is, that is nostalgia. Like, you'd see that in packaging and stuff. That was the old Garurumon art, whenever you saw it on, like, t-shirts and posters and stuff. That's, that's cool. Yo, let's go, we've got a rare Vimon, very nice, that's, uh... That is very nice. Just checking out, it says 01 there. Oh, oh, this is probably the set. Did, wait, no, EX1. What the hell is 01 then? Is that... I I just noticed it on this card. Does every card have it? Ooh, let's go. 
We have Metal Greymon, very nice. And that's zero one as well, and he's a rare. Um, yeah, so that's not... Oh, actually, no, 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 maybe that is the old Metal Greymon art as well. That is very nice. Uh, honestly, these rares, like, Vmon for some reason just works even better. That looks like an amazing card, even though it's a rare. That is... That is very cool. I am liking this set. The other reason I'm not totally sold on um, buying a booster box <clears throat> is the fact there's 73 cards here. And, like, a booster box comes with 26 packs, which is 260 or so cards you're getting. And, realistically, you're only looking at, like, a few chances to get very cool cards because you're going to hit so many doubles with the other, like, 40 or 50 cards that I don't know if it's really worth it. But we'll see. Anyway, we start with XVmon. Oh, yo, we have Kura... Ku Kurisarimon, uh, or Chrysali, as in like, Chris, you know, a, Chris, a Chrysaria kind of thing. Hey, we have Demi Devimon. I, I love the backgrounds as well. It's very classic Digimon again. Very cool. Oh, Hagurumon. Uh, Hagurumon, sorry, not Haguri. Very nice. Hey, we have Tapiamon. I don't remember seeing Tapiamon in classic stuff. But uh, he is a one as well. All of these have O one one then. It's the A Garudamon. That that's another card I saw. There was like, ooh, kind of got to get this set now. Look how old that looks. But old in like a cool classic way. Very nice. Ooh, Metal Tyrannomon. He's not one I've seen very often. I'm going to move the camera up again. It keeps kind of... Going down, Metal Tyrannomon, very cool. No, oh, yo, okay, this card right here, boys. I know, I know, it's uh, it's not even a rare or whatever, but man, the old Agumon art, the one that like made him look more, more lizard-like. You know, I mean, the, the the new the new Agumon is cute and everything and really nice, but that right there is, ah, oh, that. That's just so cool. It, it It's like looking at um, original Pikachu when he was like fat and sort of a bit chunky and a bit derpy looking as opposed to his new cute thin look. This Agumon is sort of, you know, compare him to new Agumon and there is a bit of a difference. Patamon looks pretty similar. I don't think they've done much with Patamon, but that's a very nice card as well. I love the backgrounds go with their... Um, Affinities, I guess, or whatever, because he's like holy, right? Yo, let's go. This has been a very good pack then, because we have uh, Greymon as well. Greymon and Agumon. That is very nice. A bit of foot attack action there. Very, very cool. Ooh, Tyrannomon. Rare Tyrannomon. Let's go. That's very cool. I love Tyrannomon. Um... A, a, a controversial take here, but I think I prefer Tyrannomon to Greymon in terms of Agumon's like Digivolution line. Ooh, okay, I think, uh, hang on, I'm pretty sure that is indeed an SR. We've got an SR Metal Greymon. Uh, Metal Greymon? Metal Garurumon. Ah, th that's, that's another piece of artwork. I think it's like Garurumon and Metal Garurumon. I remember seeing the artwork in like magazines and stuff before and just being like, this is the coolest thing ever. Metal Wolves are like the coolest. Uh, yeah, that. Dude, just his like wings and stuff. I always loved about Metal Garurumon. He never uses them a lot, but uh, something I really like. So, that's two down. Two to go. Can we get an alt art? That that would be really hype. But uh, you know, let's let let's let's uh, temper our expectations. We have four packs. I don't think we're gonna get an alt art, but uh, you never actually. I don't know what the alt arts in this set are. Um, wait, no, I think I do know. Um, they have the borders of the old Digimon game, so like um, the names on the side, I think, or on the top or something, and there's like, it's blue bordered, basically. Could be wrong about that, though. 
Anyway, uh, we, we have our boy, Stingmon. God, I love Stingmon. He's so cool. I don't even know what it is about his design, but it's just, it's the coolest. We have Beomon. Very nice. Hey, Salomon. Very cute rabbit, cat, dog, cat. Ooh, Zudamon. Let's go. All right, that's, that's some pretty uh, nostalgic artwork as well. I want to say these were maybe featured on the back of the figures, because I have quite a lot of uh, Digimon action figures, which I need to do a video on one day. And uh, Zudamon is one of the ones I loved as a kid. We have Palmon, very cool. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely old Palmon. Her face has changed a bit. She She's still like cute and friendly, but not... As much, if that makes sense. Hey, we've got Metal Mamemon. Let's go. He's cool. He's a big, punchy dude. Uh, oh, hey, there we are. We have Gomamon to go with the uh, memory counter thing we've got there. Very cute. Oh, we got Zudamon. And we pulled Ikakumon. Um, I think that's the line. Because obviously Classic's not going to have um, Vikimon, obviously. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. We've got Lady Devimon. <gasps> Can we pull Angewomon? That that would be that would be a pretty thing. Oh, Birdramon, very again, very classic artwork there. I mean, they're all classic artworks. That's the point of the fucking set. But you know what I mean. Hey, we've got Etamon to go with his metal uh, digivolved counterpart we pulled earlier. <gasps> Yo, for real? Holy shit! It's the protagonist from Digimon World. Okay, we've got Analog Youth. Dude, yeah, he's the guy from Digimon World. That's the like, player character. Oh, man. Oh, I never thought I'd see him in art, in, in art form, in, art, in card form. Dude, that's... Okay, that, that was something I did not know about at all. Oh, that's really cool. That, that makes me want to play Digimon World 1 now. Uh, which I may get around to. I never played Next Order. But I do have it downloaded, so I, I should play it, because uh, it's basically like a World 1 remake, right? Ooh, and we have uh, Anyamon. Uh, inf Anyamon? Infermon, sorry. Eee, there we go. That's the... Uh, infirm. Actually, no, no, you did see a bit of Infermon, didn't you, in the movie? Uh, he scuttled up the walls and blasted stuff from his mouth. But he, he turned into Diaboramon so quickly that you never really get much of a look at Infermon. But hey, there we go. He is a rare, but very happy to have him. What would I like to pull in the last pack? Um, an alternate art, as mentioned. Apart from that, though, um, I think... Oh, uh, Kabuterimon, or uh, Mega Kabuterimon, or Atla Kabuterimon. No, wait, no, that's the Japanese name. No, it is Mega, right? Yeah, I think so. Right, let's go for the last pack. <gasps> Yo, I didn't know he was in this set, but Wizamon. Wizardmon, sorry. Um, I think in Japan he's Wizamon, but yeah, he is one of my favourite Digimon, uh, R.I.P. Ooh, yay, we've got Anjumon. Very nice. Hey, there we are. We have Keramon. Uh, so we've got Infermon. Can we pull Diaboromon? That would be cool. Oh, I think the first double of this thing, actually, which is weird. So, oh, <laughs> Antona doubles. We've got Ikakumon as well. And Togamon as well. Uh, did we pull Megadramon? Yeah, we pulled Megadramon, didn't we? I think, but still. For Yay! There we go. Kabuterimon. I don't think I pulled him, right? We got Tentamon, we got Kabuterimon. Can we get Mega Kabuterimon? That would be a nice end. Hey, we've got Gatamon to go with the Salamon we pulled earlier. Very nice, very... Um, I think, well, I, I presume that's the classic artwork anyway, but yeah, very nice. Uh, we've got Myotismon for a second. I thought it was a rare, and I was like, what? why are we getting three? Very nice. Ooh, Puppetmon and the other Masters would be cool as well, but Myotismon looking... Evil AF, that, that that does look like quite a modern card, I'm not going to lie, with the background and everything, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, hey, we've got him again, very nice, Analog Youth, very cool, that's probably quite a common rare or whatever, but I was just hyped, and uh, and little Koromon in the background there, and uh, 
yeah, just I'm um, I, I just love his sort of like get up and stuff. It's very it's very strange. Ooh Yo, okay. Um and we have Magna Angemon to end it with. So this is an SR, I do believe. Indeed. It is it is not coming out very well on the camera, but eee, there we go, Magna Angemon. I didn't realise he was in this either. But yeah, that looks that looks like a mesh between classic and uh and updated things. So we pulled two SRs out of four packs. That's pretty good going, actually. Uh, right, and I put everything uh, out in a second, and then we'll we'll wrap it up. All right, I am back. So that was a very very fun look at the classic collection. Honestly, I'm really enjoying these cards. As I mentioned, the theme might not be for everyone. This is very much aimed at like nostalgic people or whatever, or maybe people who want like very nice memory gauges and counters. But for me, this was a very good purchase. It ran me £25, which is about, I don't know, $30, $35 or whatever. Uh, I, I think it was worth it. I mean, you get four packs and you get everything else as well, including that. That is very cool. I have considered buying another one, but admittedly, it's not the best value for money because, like, you're only getting four packs. I've already got those now and the promo. And basically, I'd just be spending like 25 more pounds just to get a Temptamon version of this. So, probably not unless I see them on reduction. But that is a very cute Gomamon. I'm very happy to put that with my um, Digimon figure collection and stuff. But yeah, that, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I'll probably be doing more Digimon stuff in the future. If I get my hands on a few more packs of these, I'll definitely be opening them. I would really like to chase the um, alternative art, like classic, classic cards. So stay tuned for that. Um, I, I don't know if and when I'll find them, but hopefully I will. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll leave a playlist in the top here for Digimon card stuff. And a bottom mystery thing here for like, for the other things the YouTube's decided. That's about it, I think, really. So, uh, as always, thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye!